Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome to today's video. This video is just a little update and um, a little channel change that I am doing. First, I wanted to go ahead and give you an update. I planned on having a couple other videos out last week. Um, I think the last video was my Dollar Tree haul last Monday. Um, unfortunately, on Tuesday, we took my bulldog, Nala, who's right here with me, to the vet. She's been having some issues with her back leg and one of her back legs. And we, she, we already knew she had arthritis and some trouble with her knee. She had been limping pretty bad and um, it wasn't getting any better. So we had seen a couple vets and they gave us some pain medication and told us to just keep an eye on it. Well, we took her again last Tuesday and uh, they did an x-ray and they found cancer. Um, it's called osteosarcoma. If you have a bigger dog, the chances are you may have had heard, of, heard of this or encountered it. It's pretty common, a really aggressive bone cancer that happens in bigger dogs. Um, it's been really hard this past week. Um, I'm gonna try not to cry. Nala is such a huge part of our family. And um, we got her when, before, right before I found out I was pregnant. I begged to get her for my husband and we got her and she was immediately my girl. And then a month later we found out I was pregnant with our one and only daughter. And so Nala was by my side the entire time during my pregnancy. Anytime I felt sick, she was right there laying her head on my lap. She's been the most loving, amazing dog. She's grown up with my daughter, Lennon, and she used to let Lennon do whatever she wanted to her. Lennon would sit on her back and just play on her, and Nala would let her do whatever she wanted. And my husband is so attached to her as well. She just, if you've had a bulldog before, you know that. The snoring is insane, the drooling is crazy, they fart a lot, but God Almighty, they love you so hard. And it's just been so hard to know that she has cancer and um, that unfortunately there's not much we can do. She is eight and Bulldogs typically live between eight and 12 years, but um, she has other health issues like the arthritis that she has. So this cancer has completely taken away the movement in her back left leg. She has no movement left in it. It's That's where the cancer is. Um, so she kind of hops around on three legs, but she can't do it very well. We have to basically carry her a lot and help her and she's a 60 pound dog so um but i'll carry her my husband will carry her if, if she's not in pain that is our biggest concern we've had multiple opinions and at this point there's nothing to do there's no cure you know cancer is the worst thing out there and um there is a treatment you could amputate her leg with cancer and then they would have to go through chemotherapy and it still doesn't guarantee that much longer life in them and obviously it costs thousands and thousands of dollars and aside from that her other back leg isn't a very strong back leg because of her arthritis and her knee issues so even if we have had the money and she you know felt like we we felt like she could handle it her leg couldn't handle it and wouldn't be able to handle it for a long term <sighs> at this point we are just taking it day by day we've changed her diet we've um like i said we've gotten multiple opinions we've talked to um a lot of different dog people about what we can do to just make sure that she is in as little pain as possible that is my number one concern I just don't want her to be in pain right now. She still eats, she still drinks, she licks us like crazy, her little tail still wags. So we feel like she's got some life left in her. 
last Friday, we weren't as sure. And we actually called a company called Lap of Love and they come to your house and basically they're like a hospice or they come to help your dog go to sleep forever. And um, we had made the appointment and for this past Sunday because we just didn't know and she wasn't eating that well and she couldn't walk at all and wasn't trying to. And we then that same day, later that day, we added a new um, supplement to her um, amount of the pills that she's taking. It's called CBD oil. And basically it's a cannabis for dogs and um, it doesn't have any THC in it or very small amounts. It's not psychoactive. It just is the part that helps calm, um, calm your nerves, helps with inflammation. Her leg, the one with cancer, had so much inflammation. It was insane when we took her to the vet on Friday. It was so, so swollen. And it has gone down so much in the past few days since she's been on this oil. It's crazy. And we've noticed a little like pep in her step. I mean, obviously she still has cancer, but we've noticed her a little bit happier, wanting to do a little bit more. If she doesn't want to be picked up and she wants to do it on her own, she will like not let you pick her up. And um, that is a kind of a good sign to us because she still wants to do things. And she's a fighter, this dog. She has showed me that she is quite the little fight in her. Saturday we saw that she was kind of perking up a bit and so we immediately called Lap of Love and we said, we're not ready. This Sunday is not gonna be the day. I don't know how long we have with her, but I knew and my husband knew that Sunday was not the day. And ironically, coincidentally, those snores. Um, Sunday was the best day that she's had so far. She picked up, she has a little toy. This is Nala's toy, her favorite toy in the whole world. We got this for when she was a puppy. We have lived in six different places in Nala's life time. Yes, it's a lot. In eight years, we lived in six different houses. And this has managed to go with us and never get lost. I have no idea how we never have lost this, but this is her baby. And whenever she's excited, she will go and find this toy. She will hunt for it and she will put it in her mouth and her little tail will wag and she'll be so excited. And all she want you to do is play with this toy with her. And uh, we knew things were not good for her when she was no longer playing with this toy and she hadn't played with it in a couple weeks. And like I said, um, Sunday was her best day and she got this like burst of energy in her and she went and she played with this toy. And we thought we would never see her play with this toy again. And she could obviously didn't play with it like she used to, but she still played with it. And that was a huge win for us. And we got it on video. And um, you know, this extra time that with her, Again, I don't know how long, it could be days, it could be weeks, it could maybe even be months, I don't know. I'm not getting my hopes up, I am just know I'm so thankful for this extra time with her and for my daughter's sake, we've been able to really gradually get my daughter through this process by talking to her about it a lot and it not happening super quick. We are doing um, some special things with her that I researched of how to help um, kids grieve with pet loss because Lennon, like I said, was so is so close to Nala, and um, Lennon has been ever since she's had cancer. Lennon reads her stories, and Nala just sits and listens and like actually looks at the book. Obviously, she doesn't really know what she's doing, but it is so sweet. So, like I said, at this point, I'm not sure what's gonna happen. Um, we're just gonna try and keep her in as little pain as possible, and you know pay attention to the signs that she gives us and um, and you know I think we'll we'll be able to tell when she's ready this isn't my first dog that I've had to let go I we also had another dog that got really sick a few years ago we had to let her go and then my childhood dog um, so you know this isn't my first time dealing with it but it doesn't ever get any easier that's for sure
So that's the little life update that I wanted to share with you guys. And if any of you guys are going through this with your dog or animal, um, I'm so sorry because I know that it's so hard. If you follow me on social media, you uh, probably saw that I posted about Nala and I got so much love and support on Facebook and Instagram. And if you were one of those comments, thank you so much. Honestly, reading the comments makes it doesn't make it better, but it, it helps to know that you're not alone. So many people have also gone through this. Um, and it's just really nice how caring and sweet um, people can be. And it makes us feel uh, really lucky to have such wonderful people in our life. So that is the Nala update. The one other thing that I wanted to address is a channel change to my channel. It's not really a change, it's more of an add-on. Um, I'm obviously going to continue doing my Dollar Tree hauls and shop with me as I love doing those and you will have a shop with me at the Dollar Tree that I wanted to go to um, that I heard was huge. Uh, I made some time and actually went there um, in spite of What's going on with Nala? I needed a little break at one point because it was just, and I just needed some retail therapy and Dollar Tree is a great place for retail therapy. Um, so I'll have that coming, but aside from my Dollar Tree hauls, shop with me is decorating stuff, DIYs. I wanted to start incorporating um, a segment or a weekly thing where I take a different product and I review it. So the reason I wanted to add this into my channel is because pretty much everything I buy, I read the reviews first. I rely on reviews so, so much, especially ordering things on Amazon. And I never write reviews of the things that I order from Amazon. And it's not fair. I rely on them, yet I don't pay it forward. So I wanted to put kind of a stop to that and start reviewing things on my channel once a week. This week I'm gonna do my first review on something I ordered off of Amazon. I've been testing out and using for a couple weeks and I have some major thoughts and so I'm excited to share it with you. Uh, could be a game changer for some of you guys. I think it's a game changer for me and my family. So I hope you guys are excited about seeing some um, other content and new content on my channel. Obviously, I can't just buy everything and review it all, but I will definitely take into consideration things that are requested a lot um, to be reviewed. So I am really looking forward to the series and I hope you guys will enjoy it. So that's all I have to share today. Uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you definitely should. I have lots of videos coming up and I think you will enjoy them, hopefully. And um, I think that's it. So I hope you guys all have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I love you, Nala. My little baby Nala, you just rest. I love you. I love you, Nala Boo.